am I conquering Mega Eagle? Hey doing folks, um, <clears throat> I've got to cut all this brass down to 20mm lengths, yeah, like that. Um, I could sit at the bandsaw and chop them all down. Um, I really, really don't like the idea of that. It sounds quite boring, doesn't it? You know, it might, it might take me half an hour, um, 45 minutes even, and uh, what I think a much more valuable use of my time would be is to spend 20 times that time building a magazine fed automatic cutoff saw. Yeah? Good. I'm glad you agree. Let's get going.
Okay, I've got all the switches on. Um, this here is the is the bar feed switch. So the bar is going to feed along here and hit that switch, turn these motors off, but at the same time make the contact to to make the contact to override this switch which is a momentarily turned off by this bar um, and that will actuate the motor down here this motor operates the wheel with a bolt on it this is turning now oh, very slowly and that raises and lowers the the arm but it also this bolt also turns the saw on and off so when that gets around to its upper position it will turn turn the arm motor off again this is about a trip now Just trip but when it switches back on again it carries on rotating it then pulls that switch in with the spring because it's a little bit tricky to work out and turns the die grind on which then cuts the bar off right <laughs> okay let's get this wired up and see what happens um, you know what I'm just gonna I'm gonna clean it up and polish the brass up before I am um, before I wire it up wiring wiring probably wants to be the last thing I do um, I've got to make a little magazine as well look I'm gonna I'm gonna come back in a minute and it's all gonna be done bye okay it's finished Right, so um, basically got a little uh, little hopper. It's a hopper. I'm calling it a magazine, though. Sounds better, doesn't it? Um, we can fill it up with a brass bar here. Yeah, brass rod, whatever. You've got a, ma a massive capacity. I could put a lot more in if I had it, but that's all I've got at the minute. Uh, feed motors, limit switch there. I had to double up on these. Um, obviously, I was silly thing I could do it with one switch. You can't. And then this one switches the uh, switches the die grinder on and off. Yep. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's pretty basic, really. That's that's double the speed of no, that's that's hundred RPM. That's twenty five RPM. Because uh, if there's if there's a gap in, I don't want a gap in between the in between the bars, you know. So um, what's in there might have to do some catching up with the. Uh, with the bar in front of it, um, so the tension on that is significantly less than the tension on this one. That one has to grip it really nice and hard to stop the bar spinning when the uh, when the cutter disc comes down. This one is just, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's only fractionally closer. It only just grips the bar basically. Um, otherwise, the bar doesn't fall down in between it. Um, yeah. So, 12 volt transformer solid state relay that uh, is responsible for switching the die grinder on and off um, could have actually done it with these switches, I mean these are 15 amp switches but uh, yeah these micro switches like uh, like low current really didn't they you can put, you can, I'm sure they'd, they'd, they'd last a little while with 15 amps for it um, but hey this is fine, it's fine for me, there's a little, little bar coming out of that to actuate those switches Oh, I think that's it. I think that's it. What else do I have to tell you? What else? What else do I have to tell you? I ran all the wires back to here just because it is a. I was worried about making mistakes, so rather than go straight from the switch to the motor, and you know, in, in this case, I had to go from the switch to the switch to the motor. Uh, so I just stuck it all on them chocolate blocks, and that way, when I when I cocked up, I could just switch the wires around rather than. Um, rather than wiring the whole thing up again, you know, it would have ended up being a bit of a mess. And uh, the bonus is I'll get a whole a whole world of wires now, don't I? And it looks looks a lot more impressive than it really is. Anyway, let's fire it up and see what happens. Oh, I made a little box as well, but it looks shit, so I didn't put it in the picture just then. We'll have to pop it underneath now, though, because otherwise it, uh, it shoots the... Um, shoots the... Uh, Shoots the lumps of brass halfway across the the workshop.
Oh no, what's going to happen now? fun little project yeah uh, it's, <laughs> you know, it actually works I know it's not very quick but it doesn't have to be does it hmm? cool all right um, I just finished the first batch of my my little mini parangs um, if any of you want to go and check them out in my little Etsy shop um, I'll leave a link pinned the first description in the first comment in the comments box down below and I'm not gonna put it in the description because YouTube does funny things if you put links to eBay and Etsy in your your, um, your description, so it's in the in the comments. I'll pin it, yeah, to my Etsy shop. If buy one of these lovely brands. I will I will do a little little video to these um, when I get time. Um, lovely, really really good little choppers. Excellent for um, for camping and uh, and whatnot. Uh, nice and sharp. Um, yeah, you'll love them, I'm sure. Anyway, and if you want to give me money for no reason, like, um, <laughs> it's like you can always do it on Patreon, um, or whatever. Uh, I need more workshop space, so another container, and then um, whatever comes next, I suppose. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the uh, Catatronomatic, um, Catamatic, cut, yeah, yeah, the automated cut-off saw. It was fun. All right. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.